Welcome back to Elden Ring. Before we continue forwards from the giant's grave post, we have a couple things back here to look at. First one I want to do is this. The building that's at the end of that invisible walkway. There's one of those, like, sorcerer's balloons over there. Another one over there, too. Haven't seen those in a while. Something incredible. Try up. Eh. They just help their friend get down from the balloon. All oh, right, you get golden runes from them. Level 12 one, too, which is really good. Well, let's go get the other one then. Spiked spear. Weapon comprised of a spiked cylinder attached to a long pole, capable of dealing strike damage when swung. The spike induce the spikes induce blood loss. Weapon of the marionette soldiers employed by sorcerers. Mm, yeah, 50 blood loss. What's the riddle for this tower? Falling snow marks something unseen. Oh, do we have to go through the invisible pathway? So, okay, let's try this. I liked it more when the messages were here. Isn't there something we can use that makes more messages show? Script stone. There it is. All right. <laughs> I still don't see a single message. I said the falling snow, like, marks something, but... The snow doesn't seem to be behaving differently in any area. It's just 
all the same. All right. Ah, uh, here we go. So it seems to end right there. Oh wait, there's something appearing now. Little bits of light. Okay, I'll just follow the light. It's very subtle. Huh. Heretical rise. Founding Reign of Stars. Okay, that sounds amazing. Yeah, looks like that's it for that. Founding Rain of Stars releases a downpour of star rain for a while. Two slots, 32 FP, so pretty high cost. Requires 52 int, so like a quite high level spell. Let's try it out. can charge it. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can charge it. Because if I just tap it, it's that fast, and if I hold it down... Yeah, that definitely takes longer to cast. Can I cast it on horseback? Yeah, I can. Let's test it on something. Not on Doggo. What's the range? Like, targeting something probably doesn't matter. It just sets my direction. But yeah, it looks like it's always going to go like... Looks like from me forwards a couple meters, maybe. good. I mean, obviously not really meant to be used on a single enemy. I'm sure it's much more efficient to just use um, Great Glenstone Shard for a single enemy. But for groups, I think that'd be pretty good. And I don't think I have any good group spells that I regularly use, right? No. 
Hmm. But also could be particularly good against maybe a target that's so large that it gets hit by almost everything. Then maybe you'd be extra good. I don't know. Anyway. Let's check out this castle. an item here. <laughs> Stun sword key. Yeah, that wasn't terribly effective. Oh no. I think they just blew something that's going to attract everybody around. Actually, no, I think they just got super angry. Like, transformed their weapon or something. Guardian's Garrison. Flame Guardian, you're an enemy? From the back, you kind of look like an NPC. Be wary of dog. That's fine. Have a beast torch. Oh yeah, this is the item I saw. From the other side, like right over there. Wait, why are you attacking me? I got my beast torch. This is the beast torch, right? Yeah. very much health. That's kind of a hidden ladder. Oh, that's why it was so easy. 
They're just normal enemies. Is that all there is to this place? No, good, there's more. Are you gonna try to attack me? What is it with the dogs here? Do you let me drink? Fine, let's melee. Really cool attacks. One eyed shield. It's a great shield. Thirty six strength. Tricksome shield made from white stone depicting a malformed one eyed god. The barrel of a firearm pokes through the open mouth. Once worshipped by the giants, this evil deity is believed to have been slain by Queen Marika. Flame spit is the ability. Ready the shield and launch a fireball from the barrel. The fireball explodes on impact. That's really cool. Can I get back up if I fall down there? Nah, eh, let's go this way first. It should be a dead end unless it leads to a teleporter. Giant's Prayer Book. Incantations. Hmm. 
Checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, I'm teleporting off of here. I guess that's it for this area, other than to continue on the critical path, huh? Yeah, Giant's Grave Post. As a why it's called Giant's Grave, grave Post. Just the bodies of giants everywhere. Oh, there's a giant there, but they look all furry. They look like a yeti. are you gonna be? Should I laser beam you? Hmm. I don't think I need to. There's a lot of health though. Whoa! That's a new move from a giant. We just went down this area and I don't think I... Uh, maybe I can get back up. Oh yeah, I can get back up just fine. Sorry, doggy. Rump. 
Yeah, tr true. Someone's angry at me or ah. Oh, the giants are fighting the birds. Who's winning? No one. Pretty much no one's damaged at all. They're doing such a little damage to each other. Well, I don't know if I want to get involved in this. Like, not really. Yeah, you get a lot of potions back for killing them. I think I got two or three FP potions. So I'm not gonna like run out of FP, even using Comet. Yeah, this land of the giants seems like the place where every almost everything is really big. I mean, there are small hands, but there's a lot of big hands and a lot of big dogs and a lot of big crows and a lot of big giants. I mean, they're always giant. <laughs> it's like the land of big stuff. The land of everything you kill gives you potions back. It's that big. being invaded. Bloody Finger Okina. <laughs> really?
Rivers of Blood? And Okinawa Mask. Rivers of Blood. Oh, it uses Arcane. Dang. Causes blood loss buildup. Not very much, though. Hmm. Weapon of Okina, swordsman from the land of Reeds, a cursed weapon that has felled countless men. When Moog, the Lord of Blood, first felled Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Oh, that's cool. Specialist Corpse Piler forms a blade of cursed blood for repeated interweaving successive attacks. Follow up with an additional input. <laughs> we know what that means. Additional input for further successive attacks. That sounds incredibly cool. Can I see the special? Will you let me see the special? Oh, it does. Ah, oh, what a cool weapon. Oh yeah, the mask. Wooden mask that depicts an old man baring his teeth. The source of the sobriquet of the great swordsman of the land of reeds. Raises dexterity as it lowers focus. Oh, dex up by three. And we can't see focus in this screen, so I'm not sure how much it reduces it by. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief. And so Okina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane. There was only himself, his katana, and its mastery. Before long, Okina became a demon of a swordsman. Literally. See if I have. Oh, the amount of um, HP and FP your flasks replenish cannot be increased any further. Oh, so it's maxed. Do I have five golden seeds? No. Spirit spring up there. tell by the color it's something good ancient dragon smithing stone that's my first one that means i can take the wing of estelle up to plus 10 i can make it even gooder Oh, there's two. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna fight two at one time. I'm out of here. explore this area, did I? No, I came around here and then went back. So I'm going to put a mark there, but otherwise I've been 
Look here, gone up here. Oh, there's some chains that we can use to get to this little bit, which then leads to whatever the hell that is. Is that a volcano? Christ. Is that where the giant... Is that where... The, that must be where the flame is, huh? The flame that we need. Hmm. Wait, there's a side of grace over there. We don't have that one. Foot of the forge. Yeah, we're close. That is the forge over there. I can just see part of it. Wow. Well, yeah, before we go over there, let's check out the rest of this. Um, I don't actually see anything on the map. Just bodies and... Yeah, just bodies. But there's too much area there for there to be nothing. far can you throw that thing? Pretty dang far.
just looking for objects underneath the corpses. Because a lot of them you can just walk under. Whoa. Yeah, I guess the main point of this is just that um, golden seed. I'm still in combat. Is it the pot thrower? I can't look at the map. Let's go get that pot thrower. Doesn't reach. Ah. All ah, right, I can't craft a combat. I need to make more berries to give torrent. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Whatever. I don't think there's an item over there or anything. Is that it for this location? It's a little hard because maybe I do need to kill them because I can't look at the freaking map and everything looks the same here I don't think I've been down here though unless this just goes back to the starting bonfire oh oh that oh that's an extra big one oh my god oh my god valley and then something incredible ahead. Fingers ahead. Maybe that's coming from the other direction, though. Can you come with this? Oh, we can open the map now. Oh, you might, you might be able to go around here. But yeah, this kind of like almost loops around to the start, it looks like.
Oh no. Looks like I was gonna fall off for a second there. Huh. But, uh, yeah, you can go there. Actually, we're, I think we're above where we were. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can get there from the other side. I'm gonna try. But I suspect I won't be able to. Yeah, you can see my souls up there. Does that actually lead anywhere? No. I mean, I don't know if it leads anywhere, but no, I can't get up there from this side. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you can fall down those tombstones, probably. But I can't go up them. Let's try this again. Oh, wow. Oh. I think I'm gonna die, yeah. I didn't realize there were... Like, a bunch had come from behind me, and I think they must have fallen down. Oh, what are the fingers hiding over there? Let's try Founding Reign of Stars. Okay, I guess. Not great. I got some kills. I think I would have been better off just using Nebula. Crimson Whirl Bubble Tear. Oh, that sounds cool. Cir circling around ahead, be wary of behind. No magic ahead? Turn back. Okay, so, yeah, don't go this way. Although you could fall down on the tombstones if you really wanted to. But you might as well just teleport. Safer. Do I have five golden seeds? Oh, I did have five golden seeds. Also, let's take a look at that new tier. Crimson World Bubble Tier. Converts damage received into HP in mixed physic. Hmm. Okay, I'm very confused about the Crimson World Bubble Tier because the wiki is actually wrong. Like, the, the description on the wiki for it is not the description in-game, so I guess it's been changed in a patch, maybe? And then the comments on that article we're saying that it doesn't do what either it says in game or what it says on the wiki and i'm just very confused so there's nothing for me to do but test it out i guess it's the only effect i have going i only have it in the flask of wondrous physic so nothing else is going on looks like a bubble seems to last for a while let's get hit 
Hug me. Oh, no. It ran out. Okay, so it really doesn't last long. What was that, like 10, 15 seconds? I wonder if it gets triggered once or if it can get triggered unlimited times during its activation period. It's still there. My health is staying where it's at, so it's not a heal over time. And it ran out. Okay, so it doesn't seem to get used up. It seems to be active for the whole time. It doesn't heal over time, so I think it just heals when you initially get hurt. And I didn't take that much damage from that initial attack, but it, like when it grabbed me, it didn't actually hurt. Okay, so there's a little sound when it actually heals. I don't understand why most of those attacks didn't make it proc. How in the hell is this thing supposed to work? Is it a chance to proc? See, the wiki said that it, um, well, in its incorrect item description, said that um, it doesn't work on physical damage. But I'm pretty sure they've only been doing physical damage to me. Hasn't activated. Maybe these aren't the best enemies to test it on. I don't know, let's try it on the giant. Yeah, I don't get it. What is it with FromSoft? Sometimes they're so obscure. It heals you an indeterminate amount of damage for an indeterminate amount of time, and it sometimes heals and sometimes doesn't. Like, okay, I guess I won't use it then. Just one hunch. Maybe it does only proc on magic, which would be very weird because it doesn't say anything about that in the description. But I don't know. Let's go to Rhea Lucaria. Okay. It activated. Didn't. Didn't. Okay, yeah, it seems like it only activates on magic. Um, I guess the rotting things that were hugging me were somehow doing some sort of magic damage to proc it, I guess? I thought that was all physical. Other than building up rot, but that doesn't do damage until it actually makes you rot. Yeah, okay. So only magic damage? And how much does it actually heal, though? I, I don't know. I hate it. I'm not going to use it. It makes me mad, just that it exists and makes no sense. Let's go check out this little valley. I would show you on the map, but I'm in combat, so I can't. But it's the one right at the start. Oh, hey, I think it leads to... I think those buildings house crypts. Yeah. Can we actually get there, though? On the map, it kind of doesn't look like it, but... Oh, yeah, totally. Something over here, though. I think you're supposed to go there.
War Against the Giants, Champions Battle, Trolls Betray, Fire Vanquished, The Era of the Erd Tree Begins. Wasn't there a spirit spring somewhere? I don't know if it was down here in this little valley kind of place, but I remember seeing a spirit spring. Well, for now, let's head over to the crypt. You don't get FP back for enemies defeated in crypts, so I'm going to go to the more FP efficient glintstone shard. Giant Conquering Hero's Grave. Flame Protect Me. Incantation. Kitty cat. I was thinking I could laser beam it, but no, I have to get its attention and get it in here before I can do any damage to it at all. Hello? Is this the normal pathway? Yeah. Yeah, that's why everyone said try right first. You could go this way, but then you would lead the mini boss into the light and then get a couple of ads at the same time.
Let's try that again. Yeah, I do not want to face them close up. They are really tough at short range. Group ahead. Ah, lift required ahead. Yeah, I thought it seemed weird. The lift. It looked a little odd. So if I want this to work... Up there. I have to move it up. Forked Greatsword. Oddly shaped greatsword wielded by imps. Oh yeah, look at that. I think I saw somebody, I don't know, a ghost or a summons that had that at one point. I wondered where it came from. The gently undulating forked blade is known as an imp's tongue and causes blood loss. Cranial Vessel Candle Stand. I don't like that. was loud. Twenty-six strength, twenty-two faith. It's a great hammer. Surge of faith is the special. Candle sand used in worship of Byrick, the most hollowed monk prelate of the giant's flame. Concerned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks treated the flame, Byrick severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it to be used as a candle stand. His faith yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. Ugh. 
Surge of faith. Set the flames of Byrick's faith ablaze in the cranial vessel, then raise it aloft to rain down fireballs in all directions. Repeated inputs will continue to raise the armament aloft, continuing the attack. Okay, well, we need a light. Oh god. Giant seal. Sacred seal depicting the one-eyed god of the fire giants adorned with braids of red hair. That looks really cool. down the ladder, or... This probably goes to the same place, I would bet. Yeah, it does. Oh, that does so much damage. I'm trying to be conservative with my FP, so Nebula is the most efficient thing to use. Gimme. Oh my god, you're so slow, though. Wait, did I just go in a circle or something? Oh, I did go in a circle, yeah. Okay, now we're back here. Maybe there is something below this lift. Let's check.
Ага. Come here. Come on, you can see me. I'm holding a torch. What have I got left? Three FP potions, five healing. It's pretty good. Some more curved sword and a full set of armor. Some more curved sword, curved great sword. 16 strength, 18 dex, causes frost buildup. Oh, that looks really cool. Wielded by the Knights of Zamor who earned great renown during the war against the giants. In apparent devotion to winter, the curved blade is styled after an icy wind and imbued with a powerful frost effect. Special Zamor Ice Storm plunge the curved sword into the ground, building power before unleashing a freezing storm that batters the surroundings. And it is wieldable one handed. Is that the quick attack? Ooh, very spinny. Strong attack. It's very pretty. I like it. Some more mask. These long-lived warriors, clad in biting freezing winds, are said to have been the mortal enemies of the fire giants since time immemorial. I don't think there's anything there that I maybe would wear. I don't know, this looks kind of... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty elegant stuff. Like, it's pretty tight to the body. I do like how it looks. But it's not a dress. Like, all of these. And only one dress. Game needs more dresses. Oh, here's the spirit spring. Is that just to take it to the top of the head, maybe? Yeah. Oh, and there's something up here. Ash of War, Trolls Roar. Hmm, it's also a beetle over there. Somber smithing stone. Let's get a level up. Let's go with int. 
And I think this is a good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, well, we're at the foot of the forge, so we're going to head to the forge. <laughs>